Hello students, good day, how are you all doing? I guess you are all happy that you are finished with exams and will be taking a break soon. But you know as it relates to your tech ed course, you really do not have a break, you still have work to do. Now some of you have been expressing your concern that you are not able to access the Google slide presentation that you were assigned to mark. I think I know what the problem is, so I decide I will produce this short video just to show you what you need to do. Well, at least those who do not have the correct setting on your Google slide presentation. All right, so here we go. This is what you will do. I am starting here from my um, email account. And once you have, and you all were expected to create your presentations using Google Slides and not PowerPoint, eh? So no one should have complained because Google Slides is available to all of you. It's an app that is tied to your Google account here at the college. So once you are signed in to your account, I am signed in here as Orlando with a college account. You know you can go to Google Drive by clicking this um, little grid here, which I am doing now. I can select Drive. And Drive, of course, is the cloud storage space where all of your Google stuff um, is stored, whether they be Google Docs, Google Slides, or, or even the Google Sheets some of you might have been exploring that can do the same as Excel. So here I am now on my drive and I have my recent files are showing here. So I want to open up a Google slide presentation. So I click on one here. So of course you will have yours already done and the problem is the settings on the sharing that you would need to change so here i have a google slide presentation open up what you will need to do is to go to your share button which i am doing here now i click on that share button and as you can see it's prompting me to share with others and this would be the sharing method which is which would require you to share by email addresses but that's not what I am going to do. I am going to click on this advanced link here. Click on that. And here you would have a window that would allow you to change the sharing settings. So as you can see, currently, this file is private. It is only accessible by me. I am the owner of this file. That may very well be the case for the ones that you have created. So you will go to this link which says change. Click on it. And here you have now one, two, three, four, five different options that you can choose. Right now you see the one that is off. So the file is only accessible by me. It is not shared with anyone at all. Now I would like to recommend that you choose this one which is anyone at St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College with the link, bearing in mind that it is the link that you will be submitting. Um, so you change from this option to this one. Notice the others as you might want to do more with Google Drive later on. You have anyone at the college can find an access. And here is you might want to share it public. So this one is anyone with the link so if you choose this option and you send the link to that person even though they are outside of the college outside of the institution they will be able to access it still and finally you have the one that is even more public so if you choose this option then anyone on the internet can find and access your file so this is the one that i'm recommending so when you select this one, take note that in order to access the file, that person must be signed in to their college account. 
So they much they must be a part of the college mail system. And I know on your mobile devices you may have your Gmail app running other accounts. Sometimes if you are assigned into some other account in addition to your college account, you may you may see a uh, sign that says you can't access it. You need permission. So what you will do, you sign out and ensure that you are signed in to your app only with your college Gmail account. All right. So once you have selected this option, you will now click. Now you even have some other option options here that you can choose if you would like your the person who is accessing your file to edit. You can change this from just viewing to edit or even you can just allow them to comment as well as view. So view will be good enough because what you need right now is for that person that is going to mark your assignment to be able to view it. But if you would like to share it with some other person, you can allow them to edit it as well. This would mean that they can make changes to it, but that's not the purpose for right now. There might be another instance when you might want to do so. As you collaborate while you are here at college, you realize now that you can use these technological skills that you are gaining to work together among your group members. You all have this facility, Google Drive, Google Slide, Google Docs, and you can always use these to collaborate, working together. So you can, somebody can start a presentation, share it with others and give the others editing privilege and they would be able to work together and you all can compile a slide as a group. But for this assignment, you are expected to do it individually. Okay, so that's done now. And you ensure that you click save. And also you click done here again. So now you see the the little icon has changed and when you point to it now you could see the settings. It says people at St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College can with the link can view. Of course I am expecting you to have posted the link on the Moodle page already in the workshop. So once your link is there and I was hoping that you all would have created a live link but I look at a few and notice that the text was there but wasn't live. Now if you so happen to have um, that when you are trying to um, access it all you will need to do if the, if the link is not live you will copy the um, link and paste it in your browser and then you will be able to go to the um, file so that you can mark it. Okay, so that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Once you have changed the setting on the file, then once the person has a college email account, they are signed into it. When you go to the workshop module and you click on the link or you copy and paste the link in your browser, you will be able to view the presentation that you must mark. Look at the presentation, use the rubric that is in the um, assignment and give your marks fairly, objectively. Do not be too favorable of your colleagues and do not be too hard either. So try to do a good job in marking the assignments. And take note that you will get some marks for marking and someone will be grading you. So it's two marks that will come together for this assignment. The mark that you get for the actual presentation and the mark that you will get for marking. Now most of you will get full marks for marking. Once you have done the marking, I think it would be full marks that you will get out of 20. So okay, bye for now. I hope you all have a good break and ensure that you get these marking done so that the grades can be compiled and you would be ready to start fresh in the new semester with technology in education 2, which I think will be more interesting than this semester's course. Okay then, bye everyone.